super retro bonus. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Search for Next video. Today, I decided to see what the big hype was with the GameStop retro thing that they got going on. So I went to two locations in my local area. I went to a GameStop in Oceanside and another one in Levittown. So let's see what I picked up. So the first store I went into was in Oceanside, Long Island, and honestly, they didn't have much. I wasn't really expecting much to begin with, but they had mostly Wii games, some PS3 games, Xbox 360. If you're looking for PS2 games, you're looking for GameCube games, original Xbox games, and pretty much anything below that, you're not gonna find it as of right now. They're in the early stages of setting everything up according to the employee that I was speaking to. So maybe in like six months or so, I'll head back to these stores and see, I don't know if they stepped their game up, see if they really do have a lot of retro things. Uh, granted, this program is new, I suppose. But what I did get, got a couple of things. I got some PS3 games. I got Lego Marvel Super Heroes. This is actually a really fun Lego game, open world. Let's open it up. It does come with the manual. Let's see how the disc condition is. And it is pretty clean, I, I will say. And I got it for $6.99. So, not terrible, I suppose. Next up, we actually got a game I was looking for uh, as of late. Got a Toy Story 3 for $19.99. So let's, let's see, it comes with the manual, which is nice. And something behind the manual. Oh, we have Oh, wow, I got this a movie ticket for Toy Story 3, jeez. Maybe I should wait till uh, Toy Story 5 comes out and see if I can use this Toy Story 3 ticket, see if I can get away with it, but uh, I highly doubt it. So we got that, we'll see how the disc is. All right, it appears pretty good, so that's not too bad. All right, so Toy Story 3. Next up we have Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. And I got this one for $12.99. No manual, I don't even know if this game had a manual, it's possible. And as for the disc, uh, it's got some fingerprints on it, but besides that, I don't see any scratches. So that's pretty good. All right, next up, it's probably the most retro thing I got in that store. We have Super Mario Advance 4, AKA Super Mario Bros. 3. I got it for $19.99. Let's take a look at the cartridge. And the front looks pretty clean. Not too bad. Let's see the back, it's got a couple of marks on it, nothing crazy. And the pins look pretty clean as well. I don't know if you can really get that on the camera. So, all right, that's pretty cool. That's kind of what I want to see with these GameStop retro stores. Like, to me, this is this is retro right here. I want to see more of that. So that was it for the Oceanside store. Now we head over to the Levittown store, and honestly, their selection was not as good as the Oceanside location. I only got one thing from there that was considered retro, and that was the NES controller for $9.99. Let's open it up and uh, see how this controller looks. I mean, it's pretty clean. Buttons feel as they should. It's a little, the D-pad's kind of, kind of loose, but then again, this is a, an extremely old controller, so I'm not expecting much in this, but. A and B buttons are very clicky. So this is pretty, pretty good. I think I made out good with this controller. And that's kind of it for their retro lineup. Nothing really too crazy at these stores as of right now. I'm hoping down the line, we'll see more retro games there that are actually retro, I suppose. 
All right, so that's it for the retro hunting at the GameStop locations. We'll follow back up in about six months and see what the status of this program is. As of right now, it's nothing too special. You might get some good prices if you go in there and find some rare games, but as of right now, in person going to these stores, I haven't really seen anything worthwhile. So, as always, this has been another Search for the Next video. Have a good one and peace. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below your thoughts on today's topic. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when the next Surgeon X video drops. Have a good one.